Trolls. Uh, when was the first time you heard about this project, Trolls? Well, we've been working at DreamWorks for a long time. We did uh, Kung Fu Panda movies, and we'd worked with Mike Mitchell uh, for many of those years, and we knew his next project was going to be this movie, Trolls, and he asked us if we were interested in working with him and, and Walt Dorn on it, and we were always looking for an excuse to work with Mike again. Um, and John Well, I think our, our initial <laughs> response was, why are you doing this project? It's what it, Trolls, what is it? It's a doll, there's nothing there. And Mike said, that's the fun of this. We don't have a backstory. We're not stuck with anything. We can create this whole world. And he started sharing the artwork and this idea of the colors of this universe and the textures of it and the story and trying to come up with a story that really sticks to this idea of happiness and what does it mean and where does it come from. And it felt to us like that was a, a message we wanted to help, help with and tell a story and shape a story that was in that world and with that feeling of joy. Having done the panda movies, which can get a little heavy, it, it, for us it was a nice alternative to go to this completely different world. Relentlessly as happy. It, as it turns out, the, the, the process of making the movie was as joyful as the, hopefully the movie has turned out, which was, that was a happy accident because there's nothing, nothing in the contract that says we have to have fun <laughs> when we do the job, but in this case it was, it was truly a joy. And you are neighbors with the, the director at Sebastopol? I, I was during most of the making of the film. Uh, Mike Mitchell and I lived in the same very small town in Northern California. Uh, which he, is famous for its apples. It is. Apples and now trolls. <laughs> uh, which part of the movie was, uh, was written in a tailor-made uh, coffee shop in Sebastopol. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, now I've said where it is. So no, now you get a free coffee every morning for life. <laughs> <laughs> if he mentions the name. That's right. He Mike, has, Mike has moved back subsequently to Los Angeles. I managed to pull it off because as a writer, I, you know, I, I can email in a script much easier than Mike who was traveling every day, every week for the making of the movie and spending a lot of time away from his family. So it ultimately made sense for him to go back to LA. You both have a very interesting way of working. You both started off as management consultants out in Boston mm -hmm. and then Providence, intervened, not once but twice, because you're from Providence, but now you work long distance, mm -hmm. Skype. We do. Uh, we worked together, we moved from Boston to Los Angeles together, we worked in LA together, literally sharing a desk, facing each other across a desk for a decade more, and uh, then I moved to Northern California, and we were worried that it was going to be a major disruption to the creative process, but we work on Skype every day. We don't even put the video up. It's just audio. We know, we know what we look like. And every once in a while, if there's a physical joke, a, a visual that we need to convey, we'll say, like, put the camera up. Or if I'm wearing a particularly nice shirt, mm -hmm. I'll say, put the camera on look for a moment. Shirt. Look at my shirt. <laughs> Let's go back to work. Uh, yeah, my, our workday is 10 to 6, headphones on, microphone going. And, we and just, what software do you use? Uh, that's actually a... <laughs> well, let's see. We'll use Final Draft. We also use a program called Writer Duet, which that's is a, another screenwriting software. That's a new... That's, a screen that's writing free. Writer Duet no, is free. No, well, the, the, the fully... To get the fully featured version, we, you, we pay. But, but if you go and you use promo code AbleBurger, <laughs> you'll that's get a, $1.95 off. But the reason we just started using it is it was written from the ground up to be a, a software writing uh, program for teams which we've never seen before. So it actually has all sorts of cap capabilities that we don't fully use yet, but we can, instead of using Skype and Final Draft, we can just use Writer Duet and, Writer Duet and, and uh, audio chat within the program. And so then you swap the files back and forth through we Skype. We try not to do that. We tried to have, and we used to, remember in the early days we'd switch who typed? The obligation of typing was traded every day, and that just became annoying. So now we actually trade per project. I won't say who you know, types it, well, trolls. It goes, I'll say it goes back and forth because there, are, sometimes there's a part of your brain that you use a different part if you're the one typing and did I spell that right? Or, and the other part of your brain is the I don't have to think about what's being written down. So it's kind of nice to. There are days switch. where we're working again just on audio, where say if I'm typing that that day and I'll say, oh, would you check blah blah blah. And you say, can I do it later? I don't want to get off the couch. And that's when I find out he's been on a couch for the last couple of hours, which is fine. That's because rare. That's very rare that I let you know I'm on the couch. <laughs> My final question is on unicorns. 
the two of you together, your work has created, I believe, over $2 billion revenue has been generated. What does it feel like to be a unicorn? <laughs> well, we only get to share yeah, in we, half of that. It don't half matter. of those billions come to <laughs> the writers. Don't, we don't get all of that. <laughs> the billions, unfortunately. And also when you say unicorns, I started thinking, are there unicorns in our movies? So that's, <laughs> that's good. But maybe we need to make a unicorn. No, it's, it isn't about the, the dollar sign so much as it is the ability, the, the amazingness of having created franchises and characters, really, that so what that makes many you people happy? want to see. Well, he's not being magnanimous, too. The, those, the dollar figures, um, since we don't really get them, all those dollar figures mean to us is that that many more people have seen our work and enjoyed our films. And that's really, it gives us, really, it gives us the chance to do it again. The success that we've had in the past allows us to continue to work in the future and do the, the stuff we love. Thank you. You're welcome.